Has everybody got a gazoo who wants a gazoo? You haven't got a gazoo, you can have him. We are here with the Citizens Gazoo Orchestra. We're welcome, we're completely, um, we're completely equal opportunities and democratic, we're open to new members. Gazoos, gazoos are distributed equally according to need. We're, we're here today, standing in the rain with our friends, the Morris Dancers, to have a peaceful presence, to raise awareness of a, a policy that Camden Council are proposing to bring in to uh, law in the coming months. Camden Council are proposing to enact a law that will give police officers and council officials the right to seize instruments from buskers who have not got a license, and the license has lots of strict terms and conditions and costs £123 a year. If you dare to go busking without a license under this new proposal, council officials and the police will have, and private contractors authorised by the council, which could be Circa or G4S, and we know how competent those uh, big outsourcing com companies are, will be able to seize your instruments and fine you up to £1,000. And if you don't pay the fine within 28 days, they can then sell the instruments of the musicians to discharge the debt of the fine. And you know what happened, don't you? Now that, that's called fascism. That's, that's not called democracy. It's not called due process. And we've got a simple message. Yeah, yeah, that's not the message. Not, it's, the message is not fascism. It's against fascism. It's pro-gazoos. The reason we are using gazoos is because under the new license proposals, wind instruments, percussion instruments and any amplifiers are expressly banned. And with the council having the power to confiscate your instrument, for so how much is your violin worth? Yeah, that's more than a few hundred pounds. My amplifier is worth a thousand pounds. My guitar is worth quite a lot. If that gets confiscated in the middle of the street, first of all, you can't work, you can't earn money to pay for your food, and second of all, you've got, you, you've got, you haven't got your instrument. If the council then sell it after 28 days to pay a fine, you, you're then really screwed because you've got your thousand pounds down from the fine, and you've got no money. It's not about making money, I What's don't your language? Play in the street. I'm not a liberty to play Pardon? my instrument in the street. I don't think. I don't think screwed is a swear word. So this, this policy, the policy that Camden Council are bringing in, completely lacks imagination. It's heavy-handed. It's excessive. It's costing them thousands to administer. It's costing them money to pay the police to come out and move buskers on. It's costing them money to pay council officers who should have, frankly, better things to be doing. And we think this is a ridiculous, ridiculous policy. So the Citizens Gazoo Orchestra will be coming out spontaneously without prior announcement and will be doing impromptu performances all over Camden in the coming months, especially if travesty of all travesties, this, this proposal actually gets passed into law. That's when the Citizens Gazoo Orchestra will re the work will really begin. You should be taking a lead. Would anyone else like to take a song on the gazoo and lead us all? <laughs> yes, we've got a leaflet and there's an online petition. Yeah. Yes, please do. And also, would you like to take one of our...
<laughs> religious set. Well, exactly. That's a loophole. So I'm going to found a religion. If this got, got passed into law, we just go busking and say it's a new religion. Buscarian. Yes, exactly. We chose this space because it's the biggest open. Yeah. Do you want to report them for making a noise? What's that? Do you want to report them for making a noise? Yeah. You could. You could. I think that I think the piece has got. I'd normally ask a question, which is, if you have to, if this all comes in, you'll have to confiscate. Because they're bad. No, but it's windy. And we don't want to ruin camera. I can't make a living without an amplifier, without a sound system. You know, you call it, you call it screen busking, but I call it, I call it. Who thought of that word? You know, big screen busking. I mean, it's just nonsense. There's more, there's more noise from the traffic driving past this spot than, than a 60 watt battery powered amplifier, especially if it's playing folk style guitar. You should, you should have the resources, and you should concentrate resources to deal with specific incidents that cause a specific nuisance in one time. Not a blanket. Side, and he's a conservative, which just shows you how shameful this is from a Labour-led administration that they're bringing in a policy that's so draconian. No, that well, they they have a they do have a tradition of liberty on some wings of the party. Three pounds for permission with a strict list of terms and conditions, places you can play, how long you can play for, where you can stand, what you can do. Wind instruments, including gazoos, are completely banned. What, um, what have you got against the flute? What have you got against the clarinet? What have you got? What have you got? What have you got? Amplifiers are banned. Percussion instruments are banned. Tins or tubs used as improvised percussion instruments are also banned. This is a soulless and lifeless policy. It's it's been brought in with people with no concept of culture, with no imagination, no semblance of creativity, no sense of what makes Camden a distinctive place with a sense of identity and community. It's the kind of policy that erodes freedom unnecessarily. It empowers public officials to use the strong arm of the law against disempowered and vulnerable people. It is completely draconian. It gives Camden Council the power to seize instruments from performers for no crime other than being in the street with an instrument, to impose fines up to a thousand pounds, and then it asks the police to confiscate instruments, and if they haven't paid the fine within 28 days, to sell the instruments. Not even bailiffs have the power to seize a person's tools of their trade. This will leave people destitute. It will leave Camden barren. This is, do we want London to become a ghetto for the rich? Because at, at the moment, that's the way it's heading. People are being, ordinary people are being priced out. And the small ways in which musicians can make a bit of money to scrape together a living in this godforsaken, expensive city is being taken away. And the fact that it's a Labour-led administration is particularly galling. From a Labour government that should be providing opposition to one of the most disastrous governments in living memory. Instead, they're flying around on a policy like this when they're putting through, in this year alone, £83.3 million worth of cuts that are going to impact upon social care on some of the most vulnerable people in Camden. They're spending thousands of pounds on a consultation to licence busking. This is an outrageous and stupid and misguided thing, and it needs to be stopped. And I tell you this, on behalf of the Citizens Gazoo Orchestra, we're going to be here every day until this policy is history. And if they want to confiscate our gazoos, well, i tell you what, Camden Council, they're only 50p, so we'll buy some more. And, we have a, and we're an equal opportunities orchestra. And there's millions of people in London, so if you take down our members, we'll just get new ones. And we'll, don't worry, we will support any, any gazoo orchestra member who gets arrested by the police. We'll have our full support, obviously. And you are, as a unique individual, completely irreplaceable. But in just in kind of raw numerical terms, you know. Stop digging. Would anyone else like to play guitar and sing a song? I'm sure I'm not the only one here. Come on. This whole policy has been brought in because 
There have been a hundred complaints about noise from buskers in the last year. Well, we're in a city with eight million people. So if a hundred people make a complaint in a year about buskers, I mean, I've got to be honest, I don't mean to be rude to any residents who might be in the audience, but if you like peace and quiet, don't live in Camden, and don't live on Camden High Street, and then ask that it be quiet. You know, this is London, this is the bustling heartbeat of, the, of urban living. Music is part of that. Culture's part of that. Don't come into an area and then say, oh, well, I'd like there not to be any sound, apart from millions of tons of screaming metal driving past day and night, emitting CO2 into the air. I mean, if we're talking about pollution and environmental degradation, and let's be honest, what's doing more damage? A guitar? Or, yeah, that's about 10,000 tons of screaming metal burning fossil fuels. Yes, yes. And that's making a bit more noise. I'm having to shout to be heard, and I've got a good amp. Anyway, over to you. If you'd like a leaflet, we've got loads of leaflets. And if you want to join the Gazoo Orchestra, we're completely open to be It's an open Morrison. mic, we're an open orchestra, we're the Citizens Gazoo Orchestra, we're an equal opportunities, democratic, equal access, spontaneous, creative orchestra. It's free to join, it's free to leave. <laughs> Gazoos are also free, except for a few people who buy them. <laughs>
mic. Um, as long as you can play and you're not going to wreck the guitar. Um, I, I don't know any Van Morrison apart have from Brown Eyed Girl. Have I told you lately that I love you? I'm very happy to play. Should we play Brown Eyed Girl and everyone, can everyone do the riff? Everyone, everyone hates, uh, everyone hates Brown. Bob Marley?